In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Consider the experiment of tossing two fair coins. Let the event A be a head on the first coin, the event C be a head on the second coin, the event D be that both coins match, and the event G be two heads. Which of the following is false? We are given that event A is head on the first coin. So that means A is equal to H H comma H T. So these are the two possible outcomes that A can have. The event C is head on the second coin. So C is equal to T H comma H H. The event D be that both coins match. So D is equal to H H comma T T. And event G be two heads. So G is equal to H H. Now we have to test which of the following statements is false. First of all, let's understand the meaning of statistically independent. By statistically independent, we mean that the probability of joint occurrence of two events should be equal to the product of their individual probabilities. So if X and Y are two events, then we say that X and Y are statistically independent when probability of X intersection Y is equal to probability of X multiplied by probability of Y. So if this condition is satisfied, then we say that X and Y are statistically independent. So let's test this step by step. In part A, we are given that C and D are statistically independent. So let's check if that's true. So to check this, let's first find C intersection D. So C intersection D is equal to H H as we have H H in C and H H in D as well. So C intersection D is equal to H H. And this implies that the probability of C intersection D is equal to probability of getting H H. And this is equal to one by two multiplied by 1 by 2. So this is equal to 1 divided by 4. Now let's find the probability of C and probability of D. Probability of C is equal to probability of the outcome TH plus probability of the outcome HH. So this is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 divided by 2. So this is equal to 1 divided by 2. Now, similarly, let's find the probability of D. So probability of D is equal to probability of H H plus probability of T T. And this is also equal to 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 4. So this is equal to 1 divided by 2. Now let's see if C and D are statistically independent. Well, we can see they are statistically independent because the probability of D multiplied by the probability of C is indeed equal to probability of C intersection D. So this statement is true. Let's move to part B. In part B, we have to check if A and G are statistically independent. So first of all, let's find A intersection G. Well, A intersection G is equal to H H as we have H H here and H H here. So A intersection G is equal to H H. And this implies that probability of A intersection G is equal to probability of H H and this is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 divided by 2 and this is equal to 1 divided by 4. Now let's find the probability of A. Well probability of A is equal to probability of H H plus probability of H T. This is equal to 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 and this is equal to 1 divided by 2. Now let's find the probability of G. Well, probability of G is equal to probability of H H and this is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 divided by 2 and this is equal to 1 divided by 4. Let's see if A and G are statistically independent. Well, probability of A is 1 divided by 2 and probability of G is 1 divided by 4. So probability of A multiplied by probability of G is equal to 1 divided by 8 and this is not equal to probability of A intersection G, which is equal to 1 divided by 4. So in this case, A and G are not statistically independent. So that means 
part B is the right answer. So this is the right answer. And this is all for this question.